trick that I have for you might not be new to PC players, but uh, hey, let me welcome you, PlayStation players, let me welcome you to the Forgotten Realms, to Baldur's Gate, to the Sword Coast, and I hope that your adventures are going to be as tremendously amazing as mine were. Now, like I said, this little advice is not going to work that much uh, on PC players, because we already know about those things, but uh, how about PlayStation players? Let me tell you that money is not needed in this game. As a matter of fact, there's going to be quite a lot of items that you are going to want to have from several merchants in Baldur's Gate. There's going to be from several merchants that you're going to have throughout the world on itself. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes you might be thinking that's just too expensive, and they are, but uh, you shouldn't worry about that because if you have a thief, then there is no problem about that. This guy, you'll find it from the first act of the game, and he actually does have a quite a lot of interesting things. So what you want to do is just press the left trigger right here. It's going to open up the characters that you have available, and then you select your rogue. In this case scenario, we have a Sterion. All you have to do now is just enter into stealth, and then you can pickpocket whenever anything that you want from this guy. Now, um, as you can see, there's uh, quite a lot of uh, armors and things that uh, I would like to have. Uh, this is one thing that I would like to have. It's a very rare weapon uh, that you can get on the second act of the game, and it deals tremendous amounts of damage. So let's just snatch this little thing, and as you can see right here, I was able to, sh to just take this thing ripe for the picking. If I am going to take something a little bit heavier or, or something more difficult to take, like for example his money on itself, it's actually going to be quite difficult. It's going to be... Uh, uh, he's going to probably see me, but you don't really have to worry about that because you can immediately turn to your main character, speak with him again, and yeah, people are not going to like that much when you pickpocket from them. Some even are going to enter into combat immediately. But, uh, I mean, something that you can do is choose uh, save scum when you really want something real, real bad. But on the other hand, if you do not really want save scum, then you can all, all you have to do is just this, and, and that's it. Just keep snatching those things that you want to keep snatching. And overall, it's going to work. One more little thing that you can do, if this thing is not working for you that properly, then you also have your priests. Now, the priests, or clerics, I'm sorry, they are going to have a guidance. And guidance, what they are, what guidance is going to do is that they, it's going to give you a plus to your ability checks that you are going to have while doing every single action that requires a skill check. And yes, stealing and pickpocketing it requires a skill check, so if I have Guidance, I'm going to have that much of a chance of being able to steal that thing that I want from that guy to get that success. But hey, what happens when I want to steal something from someone and there's just too much people laying around and I can't enter into stealth because every single thing that you can see out there, it's just a zone of detection and it's impossible to just enter into stealth right here because of it. Well, it's actually quite simple as well. My advice is that you enter into turn-based modes because turn-based mode is going to allow you to have access to the rest of your characters that you have available. Turn-based mode is just an amazing tool. And what we really want to do is uh, mainly first, like I said, we want to cast our guidance into the one that is going to be doing the stealing to get those little pickpocket little benefits. And then we have our mage. Now our mage is going to cast invincibility and usually this is a spell that a lot of uh, casters are going to have access to. So you can cast your invincibility right here and then you have 10 turns of invincibility. Then we enter into our uh, sneak and there you have it. <laughs> I can now enter into stealth mode 
without having the necessity to, to do anything because uh, even if there's a whole lot of people watching, I don't really care about that. So now I can pickpocket when, whatever I, I want to and uh, try to get those little chances to pickpocket everything that I want from people. One final note to have in mind uh, is that it's going to be better if you have quite a lot of uh, sleight of hand proficiency. It's ideal for you to be doing this thing with a thief. A thing is that uh, the thieves, they are going to have uh, expertise with sleight of hands. As you can see right here, this guy has sleight of hand expertise and you can see that this thing is higher and the main reason for this thing being higher is because yes, one, for, for once it has the expertise right there, but I also have this beautiful amazing ring that there's a link in the video description on how to get it uh, on the first act of the game even, uh, so there's a plus two to your sleight of hand, but also the gloves of thievery that are going to give you advantage on your sleight of hand checks, basically doubling the chance of you being able to be snatching all those things from the merchants and the armors and weapons, rare, legendaries, anything that you want from them. If you want to bribe people, you're going to have enough gold to do so and then take that money back there's a whole bunch of things that you can do with thievery and uh, it basically if you have a proper thief in your party in your crew which i always advise i do have a build for this guy right right here in the channel if you want to go look for it i have several for for this guy actually but uh yeah this is how you can just uh take anything that you want from this game if you like the content, so like and ever super appreciate it. No, it's only today that you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful, beautiful person. I will be seeing you go them gorgeous and beautiful people in the next one. Have a beautiful day and goodbye.